You know, I've been my own person for 30 years. I've been, uh, been a governor and I've been a congressman, I've been a senator, made my own decisions, stood for what I believe in. You know, I'm a fiscal conservative, as everybody knows, fairly strong one. And it just uh, became clear to me that it would be very difficult uh, day in and day out to serve uh, in this cabinet, or any cabinet for that matter, uh, and be uh, part of a team and not be able to be 100% with the team, 110% with the team. You know, you can't have a, a blocking back who only pulls out for every second or third play. And uh, the president has been incredibly gracious. And none of this decision is related at all and in any way to his willingness to include diversity of thought and initiative within his cabinet, just the opposite. He has been a person who has reached out and aggressively reached out across the aisle. And I immensely respect that. And I immensely respect him. And I know he's going to be a, a strong and effective and good president. Uh, but for me, uh, I just realized as these issues started to come at us that, and they started to crystallize that it really wasn't a good fit and that I wouldn't be comfortable doing this and that it wouldn't be fair to him to be part of a team and not be able to be 100% on the team. There is no question but that when they asked me if I would do the job, I said I would, and that's the bottom line. And as a very practical matter, I made a mistake. I should have focused sooner and more effectively on the implications of being in the cabinet versus myself as an individual doing my job. There was no light bulb moment. It was, I struggled with this, and uh, I will continue to struggle with this, I suspect, for the rest of my uh, career, because I did not uh, really handle this the way that I usually handle issues, which is definitively and quickly.